here in Cusco finally, and we're meeting up with the rest of the Kentucky crew. They're here on the coach. And we're gonna actually head to the Sacred Valley. So let's jump on the coach and head, make our way to the Sacred Valley. But first let's say what's up to the rest of the Kentucky tour. So today is all about tradition. Peru is stacked with ancient history. We're going to Inca ruins and then we're having our second challenge, which is gonna give you an opportunity to follow in our footsteps and win a trip to Peru. By the time you get here, we'll be ancient history. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, dog? Just wanna let you know that uh, we're, you know, chilling. All right, guys, so here we are at Chinchero, which is a center for traditional weaving here in Peru. It's really, really important that we're here today because this is supported by the initiative Treadright that Kentiki runs, and it's just really about keeping local traditions alive and supporting local people uh, in their craft. So it's very cool that we were able to be a part of this and learn a lot of these incredible techniques from these really, really talented women today. So you have to bring it forward, hold it tight, and toss it back, and then you pull the string tight. Oh no! <laughs> I broke it! Of course Gina's the one to break the string. Good job, Gina. Oh, wait, so there's these very small these insects that fungus. infest the cactuses in the area, um, but when you grind them up, they turn to a very, very bright, vibrant red, really and you can special. turn that into a dye that makes 40 not different dye, shades of plant. purples and reds. This wraps up the textile sensor onto the Inca ruins! Kentucky 62, how do we do? <laughs> Are you ready for fun facts about the Inca Empire? The language that the Incan Empire used was called Quechua, and now it's unfortunately a dying language. Did you know that the Spanish conquerors arrived in Peru in the year of 1532? Also, that rhymed. The president's name was Jesse, and he was a boss. The Incas didn't give any value to gold. The Incans never developed any writing, and everything was done through word of mouth. <laughs> Knowledge is power. So this place is called Chincheros, guys. Inside here, we are going to explore some ruins, and as well, I will give you the stories about the city itself. Check this incredible view out. It's insane. You have a secret mission. Do you accept? Go to Kentucky.com forward slash road trip to see if Louis completes his mission. Wait, do you have a new friend? Yeah, her name's Diane. I think she's into me. Oh, you, are you into me or are you into this? Oh my gosh, oh, I can't believe you, Diana. <laughs> why, Diana, why? Put your head down in shame, that's right. So we're at a chicharia right now where they make traditional corn beer. This is where the locals come and hang out and we're gonna try some. Come on. Here's nothing. Alright. Alright. No. We are at a local chicharia where we're playing sapo and drinking local corn beer. It's all delicious. Challenge two, it's a game of sapo. You have 10 golden coins, you throw it onto these boards and try and get it into the frog's mouth. If you get it in any of the other holes, you will be given points. Whoever gets the highest amount of points wins a trip for one of their fans to Peru. Everyone's ready? Yeah! Okay, first up, Chloe, Jesse, 
take the line. It's Sappho time. I don't know how I did it, but I believed in myself. It worked. So happy. Okay, guys, the final round. Roy with 4,000 coming in as the leading champion. Jesse, the underdog, came in with 3,000. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Congratulations, Thank Jesse. You, sir. You've won a trip for one of your fans to Peru. One of you guys. Go to kentiki.com forward slash road trip to see if you've won and keep on voting for your favorite YouTuber as there's still one more challenge left. Yo, the game's over. I lost really bad. I got beat by Jesse, but I can't be mad. I got zero. He got 3K. In the end, it was a really fun day. Whoa! We are in the remains of the Incan Temple, Olante Tambo. Today was amazing, and tomorrow is all about adventure. We're going whitewater rafting, and make sure you go to kentiki.com forward slash road trip to see if Louis completed his secret mission. <laughs>